All right, on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. All right, sometimes I just feel like singing country when I pass the Short Branch Saloon. I've never been inside the Short Branch Saloon, and that needs to change. There definitely needs to be some video footage in the future of me and the Short Branch Saloon trying to make the world a better place. I must admit, I pick up dozens and dozens and dozens of cigarette wrappers on the ground laying all around the Short Branch Saloon, so it does help me in a way, helping me keep my letters going out to the world to make the world a better place. Now today, I'm going to get in some hot water, I think. I've been spending too much time with my friend, the Irishman, that uh, is dating my uh, aunt. Talks with that Rhode Island accent. He would say, you should not shoot videos when you're in the car. But, I'm going out on a sexist limb today. There's a lot of vehicles being driven around these days. Oh, look, there's one coming. And there's another one, and there's another one. And I'm guessing just by the sheer probability, about half of these vehicles driving around the road today are driven by women. You know, this isn't a question, are men and women better drivers? Can a woman videotape and drive at the same time? No, this is a simpler question than that. It's about stick shift vehicles. There's a brown paper bag where a stick shift could be. If this was a more, uh, I guess, simple vehicle, I don't know. Do uh, cars, vehicles even come with the option to have a stick shift these days? I'm guessing like the fancy sports cars do performance sports cars like Corvettes and Ferraris and all that nonsense. Probably, you probably couldn't get a regular automatic transmission on one of those if you wanted to because somewhere someone would have you killed driving a an automatic transmission uh, Ferrari probably would enrage the Ferrari community and you would be put to death but anyway my question is and it's simple how many women at work because I'm gonna ask them all today every woman I see and I'm gonna keep a little track on a tally how many women will be able to say, yes, I can drive a stick shift vehicle. I'm writing a story, and a, a plucky heroine is in a pickup truck that is a stick, and she needs to make a getaway. And it's kind of a frustrating feeling turning on the engine key that we, we do so many times for granted, you know, when we drive our cars, and having the truck grown buck and feel like it's gonna blow up because you're not doing something right. Kind of a, it's kind of an intense feeling. I remember the first time I tried driving a stick shift was not pretty. I ended up flooding the vehicle and I ended up pushing it back home. I learned the hard way and hopefully uh, I'll learn not the hard way, just how many women, let's say out of 10, know how to drive a stick shift. My guess is maybe two out of 10. Two out of ten probably know how to drive a stick shift. That's my guess. So, all right, enough being sexist. I'm gonna devote all my attention to driving now. And well, that's not entirely true. My brain is always, always, always coming up with something. And that right, Bravo. Bravo thinks I'm a sexist idiot, Peggy.